So on this channel I often sing the praises of Bulova. I think they make some pretty amazing watches. Some of their watches are quirky, some of their watches do have questionable movements and when I mean questionable I mean maybe not the highest grade movement for the price that they're asking. They do that pretty often. However, on the secondary market, Bulova sell for a very good price and I think a lot of their watches are actually bargains. Also, Bulova in the past have made some amazing watches that are actually high-end, pretty expensive Swiss-made watches um, and then they sort of went away from that and they also do currently, you know, like when they came out with the recent Bulova uh, mill ships, they do a limited edition and then they do a standard edition. That limited edition is Swiss made. The standard edition is not. Um, so they do make some amazing watches and then they make some, like I said, questionable watches. But today I have two, what I think are amazing watches to show you. This is a double unboxing of two different Bulovas. One that I've actually had for quite some time uh, and I never did an unboxing for it. And then one that I just recently got. So uh, you guys know that I buy Bulovas pretty often. So we're gonna get into the one that I've had for a while. So I'm gonna do that one really quickly first. This is the A15. Uh, it comes in more modern pa packaging for Bulova. You know, the, here's the hang tag. Uh, I believe this is the 96A245. I did buy this off of Joma Shop. Uh, this was a very long time ago, and I believe I paid 200 and uh, 360 something dollars, and I had a $50 credit or or somewhere around there, and that's the reason why I bought it off of uh, Joma Shop. Uh, the shipping actually was not very good for jo from Joma Shop. I live in New York, and this took almost a week and a half to get to me. I remember uh, specifically that because I was not very happy. Uh, but other than that, the watch was great. So Joma Shop, I haven't had that many uh, interactions with them. Uh, but in this instance, like I said, I live in New York. They're located in Brooklyn and it took over a week and a half for them to actually ship this watch to me. So the A15 is a remake of a watch that Bulova made uh, that actually never really went into production. I think they made about 500 examples of this watch. Um, and like I said, they never actually went into full production. Um, the original was much smaller. It was around 36 or 34 millimeters. It did have dual rotating inner bezels, as you can see. So you get a 12 hour and then a 60 minute counter. Uh, and both of those do rotate. This gets an eight movement to so an eight series Miyota movement, but it does hack as you can see, and it does hand wind. It's not the worst movement in the world. Um, it's not the best at the same time. I think these retailed for around $600. You can get them from anywhere on eBay. I've seen these sell for around $265 um, and lower than that if they are used. Uh, brand new, they sell around $300 on eBay uh, to around $315, $325. And I think recently Joma Shop had a special on these where they were selling for around $300 or $310, uh, which is a really good price for these. Uh, a little bit less than what I actually paid for it originally, uh, which kind of made me mad, but that doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it's just a few bucks. Um, really beautiful watch. You do get a sapphire crystal on here. The case back is basically an entirely polished piece of metal. Um, and then you just have bull over there. It says water resistant, sapphire crystal, just the uh, typical things that it would say on, on, a, uh, on a case back for a watch. Uh, the sapphire crystal is sort of boxed and domed, which is really nice. You get a sign crown. The crown is really nice on here. Um, it's not a thin watch, but it's not incredibly thick. It's 14 millimeters thick. Um, the watch itself, I believe is 42 millimeters, 41.4 is what I measure. Um, depending on where you actually measure it from. So 41 millimeters, basically. And then you get a true lug to lug of 50. So uh, 50.3 is what I'm measuring there. And you get three crowns that are very sizable crowns, especially since you're getting three, uh, 6.8 millimeters, and then um, 6.8 millimeters. And I would imagine this one will be uh, 6.8 millimeters. Yes, so there you go. So all three, 6.8 millimeters, uh, equally sized. Only one is signed and it's signed Bulova, uh, very classic. So they did bulk this up for uh, obviously uh, their reproduction. Bulova do this with a lot of watches. The only watch that they actually came out with extremely, extremely faithful to that original was that Mill Ships. That's why I was very, very excited about that watch. 
This gets sort of a run-of-the-mill buckle also, which is a little bit disappointing on the price point for this watch. Uh, the strap is actually a very nice calf leather strap, uh, but I believe it's made in China. It's nothing too crazy, but it's nice. Uh, for $300, definitely worth the $300. Um, just a really good looking watch in my opinion and the size is good It's not way oversized like they went with the uh, Lunar Pilot, which I think was a little too big uh, You do get brushing polishing bead blasting. So there are a few different uh, different finishes on here screwing case back No screwing crown obviously um, Just a really nice overall design really nice looking watch. You have those sort of military-esque cathedral hands so the next watch that I have is here is yet another Bulova, as I mentioned. And I'll throw both of these on my wrist, but I'll talk about prices and everything as I'm going through it. You guys have seen this on my channel before. However, you saw this in a PVD coated gold version. This is the stainless steel version. Um, and it gets a silver dial with a date there at six o'clock. So very similar to the one that I had on the channel before. However, uh, this is, like I said, in stainless steel versus the gold. And I actually have the gold on right now, and I'm going to show it to you. I have it on an aftermarket strap, which I think looks really good. So this is sort of a, I, I want to call it a field watch, but it's sort of a dress field watch. This is a fully Swiss-made watch. This is part of the AccuSwiss lineup of watches that Bulova do. Um, so you're getting a fully made, a fully Swiss-made watch. You get a Swiss-made automatic movement inside. I believe it is either between the SW200 or the ETA 2824. Uh, you get a crosshair on that dial, box sapphire crystal, and really crisp, beautiful finishing on this case. Now, uh, you get brushing and polishing, but the changeover from brushing to polishing is extremely, extremely crisp. Um, and I did a video on this watch, which is the gold version, the gold colored version with the brown dial uh, that I have on. Really just a cool watch. And uh, the crown is signed Bulova, uh, signed with the Accutron sort of tuning fork, Bulova tuning fork. You get a screwing case back um, and all the information about it there. It is Swiss made, like I said, and the uh, strap is actually uh, a really nice strap with a deployment buckle, double deployment buckle, which is very solid. Uh, but nothing too crazy. It's sort of a, a run-of-the-mill little bit of a, of a buckle. This was used, and I paid $150 for this watch. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because right now, Timex, who I love, are selling uh, a few different mechanical and solar-powered um, field watches on their website. They have 100 meters of water resistance. This, I believe, has 50 so it's not incredible compared to, it might, it might have more. If it does, I'll put that in the comments below. But this is $150, you're getting a Swiss made, Swiss automatic, uh, while they are selling the solar powered 40 millimeter version or 41 millimeter version of their uh, solar powered uh, field watch for $159. So that is pretty crazy. And this is exactly basically a 40 millimeter watch, 39.6, 39.7, depending on where you're measuring it. At the case, it's a little bit smaller than that. You get a really nice sizable crown, uh, especially for the size of the watch, 6.3 millimeters, and it's thin, 10.4 millimeters thin. Uh, comes on a really nice strap. This, like I said, is used. It came with this strap. Uh, however, I don't think it was ever actually worn on this strap. The the watch itself doesn't have a ton of scratches on it at all. So 47.8 millimeters uh, with the uh, lug to lug. So it's a really nice lug to lug. Um, that 10.4 is with that domed box sapphire crystal. Really awesome. You get applied indices. There is black loom on here, I believe. We're going to do a loom shot at the end. Uh, the hands are sort of blackened and so are the indices except for the 12 the nine, the three, and the six. Beautiful sort of sunburst dial, Bulova applied logo. The dial on this is incredible. Um, and I'll try and do uh, uh, like a, a, testing, 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 testing. And I'll do a loom shot at the end so you guys can see, but I believe there is loom so you could see. There is loom on here, so we'll do a loom shot. The loom is not gonna be incredible. Uh, however, Bulova aren't really known for their loom, but they are known for their quality. In my opinion, I think some of their watches are heavily underrated. So this watch actually came with not only 
the strap that it's on, but also three other, um, and I'm making a lot of noise while I do this, three other NATO straps that it was, I guess, maybe worn on, and these are Zulu Diver uh, NATO straps. They are brand new. I'm going to actually do a giveaway. I'll give away these straps as well. Uh, with this uh, with these straps it's it's something that I probably won't end up using anyway so I might as well do a giveaway with it but 150 bucks I think this is an excellent excellent price uh, for a watch that is very very lightly used um, and really can't go wrong with these watches so very quickly I'm going to do a loom shot uh, let me show you them on my wrist and then we'll do that loom shot so today obviously I am wearing the gold version of this watch right here you could see side by side brown metallic dial versus the silver metallic dial. Exactly the same watch, but uh, obviously uh, just like dark and, and light versions of them. Beautiful, beautiful finishing on these watches. Uh, beautiful cases, beautiful dials. Everything about them I think is very, very appealing. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep both. I definitely wanted the silver version. I bought this for, I think it was $150, somewhere around there. Uh, the gold version, and and then uh, eventually when this came up at $450, I ended up buying the other one as well. So uh, kind of ironic, but uh, throwing this one on my wrist. Now, I haven't even sized this for my wrist, but I think it will come to... Yeah, it does fit me, uh, basically. So there you go. Uh, like I said, 39 millimeters, or just about 40 millimeters, um, and it looks really good on my seven and a half inch wrist. Again, not completely sized for my wrist. Um, and then the A15 on my seven and a half inch wrist, the A15, again, for $300, seems like, even though at $300 seems like a good amount of money, I think it's definitely worth it considering the history behind Bulova. These watches just look great on the wrist. Um, like I said, I measure around 41 to 42 millimeters. That's what it wears like. Um, it's a very traditional watch case. Uh, it's a little bit on the thicker side, so it does have presence on your wrist, 14 millimeters. But listen, it's just a cool watch. Those dual rotating inner bezels allows you to use this as a timer. It allows you to use it as a GMT. Um, really cool. And then the 8 Series that they put in here is actually the higher end 8 Series. So you are getting uh, hacking and hand winding. Uh, all 8 Series get hand winding. It's the hacking that's actually special. So this is uh, basically the same movement that goes into the Bull of a Hack. Another watch that I definitely want to get into my collection, uh, I think is a pretty awesome watch. And those sell for really, uh, a really good price. Even on the Bull of a website, they sell for a very heavy discount. So very quickly, loom shot, and then we will wrap up the video. So there you go. Uh, not going to blow your mind. The loom is decent, but it's not incredible on both of the watches. But then again, like I said, Bulova don't do an incredible job with loom, uh, but that's kind of a major brand thing. They usually are really good or just okay. And I think in this case, they're just okay. The only problems that I ever had with this watch right here, the A15, is that the crowns are slightly loose. Um, they are very free to move. So I have noticed that if you do align them up at the 12 o'clock, which everything does line up very easily because it is uh, obviously uh, free to move, you could line it up perfectly. Um, the crowns will, if they touch against your, your shirt or something like that, if you have a tight shirt on or if you're doing something with your hands, putting in your pocket, uh, in your jeans or something like that, if the crowns touch your jeans, uh, or pants, they will move, and then your uh, actual inner rotating bezels will move. So that's a little bit of a problem that I've seen with this watch over time of wearing it. Uh, other than that, the thickness is a little bit on the thicker side. Uh, the Murin, this is what this is actually called. I don't know if I actually said that. The Murin, um, the gold one that I've owned for a while, I love. I think it's a really great everyday sort of dress field watch. I don't wear it as often as I should. Um, but I think that they make, uh, the, I think that they made that watch or this watch, uh, in the, in the silver and the gold, uh, pretty awesome high end sort of everyday field slash dress watches. I really don't have any complaints about them except for the straps, which I think are a little bit hard. Don't taper enough for the style of the watch. Uh, and that's why I switch it out on mine. Uh, it's not, it doesn't really complement the watches uh, as much as it should. Anyway. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, those are really my complaints about these watches. I like the strap on here. I think the buckle's really cheap, especially at that $600 price point. But if you're buying it, 
at a, at a discount uh, at below $300 or around $300, um, you could switch out to the strap. It's not that big of a deal, but even at that $300 price point, they should have a milled buckle on here, I think. But that's my opinion. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description below. If you click those links and purchase anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in.